As today I'm gonna go check out some fish shops and a fish shop in my garage called the Aquarium Gallery. Get some footage of there and then go get some bits and pieces from around Perth and hopefully find some coconut uh, husk or whatever substrate for the bottom of the tarantula tank and then we will make the tank up and see how that goes and I've also got to find a tank as well so yes wish me luck Eli, what's in here? What's in here? What is it? I right, be careful. Can you see him? He's just in the corner there, or the round corner. He's just there. He's very little. Look at him. Can you see him? Is he a spider? Uh. So we just had a major scare on his uh, his little enclosure. Um, I get some photos before, but I'm kind of in a rush right now because my son dropped the thing. We found the spider. He was still in there. He was in amongst the other stuff. Um, cocoa fiber substrate is what I'm pretty sure this is. Um, but this is just a little bit different and it comes in a very hard ugh, cube, solid. It says to add a, a little bit of water um, and leave it for a little bit to soak and it will expand, turning it a darker brown, kind of like this stuff and then you put it in so I will be sorting this out, um, putting it in here and making this a lot deeper um, just to utilize some of the room in there and then put the other stuff and the spider back in this one and that'll be his new home for the next couple of months. They reckon that it lasts in the container that he's in for about six months so um, this is the same size as his container, it is just a bit taller, so we'll just give him that 
little bit more room at the top so it doesn't look too small. Um, this is a plastic container, so if I have too many problems with it, I'll be changing it to a glass container. But we are just going to go and see what we can do as we are only experimenting because I've never owned a tarantula before. I'm going to go quickly soak this stuff and I shall get back to you guys. substrate to soak up all the water I will show you a comparison of what it came in and what I'm going to put him in for now the main difference is height the size of the container isn't much bigger so it's not going to affect it that much um, he did recommend not going too much bigger than this one but because I'm only going up and not across I don't think it's going to make much difference. Uh, I will see how that goes and we shall get back to the substrate in the water. So the substrate is looking pretty good but there is still ginormous chunks of this stuff still in there and it it's still hard as. So I'm going to pull it apart by hand um, mush it around and hopefully the drier stuff will absorb the rest of the water. If not, I will go put it out in the sun for it to dry a little bit more. And then hopefully we will have our desired soil compound. We are slowly getting somewhere with this. So I think I'm going to split it into two containers and um, maybe get a spray bottle and give it a little spray just to add a little bit of moisture, but not an awful lot of moisture. And we'll see how that goes. There we go. This is his enclosures enclosure. So I've just got him in one of the uh, spare fish tanks. I have stopped fiddly hands from touching him. But he, this is his new home. So the substrate is fairly deep and that is him there. Um, I moved over the moss from the other one. He is a little bit uh, stressed out because that was pretty dramatic because we had to do it quickly because the container that he was in before was dropped a little bit and he it was all sloshed around. So I thought I would just when he was stressed out because of that disturbance that I would just finish it off and hopefully I shall get him to feed so their crickets are in there as well just so they also don't if they do get out of their thing they probably won't get out of this I mean they might be able to climb up this stick but I'll probably take the stick out and yeah so hopefully we can get them to feed and hopefully I'll get a video of him or at least a photo of him feeding soon but I think he is way too stressed out to eat but enjoy the rest of your day and stay classy